Hey folks, Lindsay Setchell here from HM and HM International School of Horse and Hoof Care. And today is day 26 for me, going live twice a day. Now I've missed a couple of days, that's my dog barking. I've missed a couple of days going live because we've had a little bit of a break. Hold on a moment. Kiki. It's animals, right? So I missed a couple of days going live. Now, we're still going to do it. We're still trying to go on. We're still trying to do these lives twice a day. After this live, I should be going live on in the Phoenix group where Gary and I will be talking about all sorts of things. But what I want to talk to you about first, the thing I want to talk to you about in this live is fat pads. So have check this out. Have a look at this. So this mare, let's just get over to... Um, here so I can blow this up for you. Let's go back to StreamYard. So you can see that this mare, she had a really large laminitic crest. I'm waving without putting you on the screen. Hi, Angela. Good to see you. Hi, Caroline Schillig. Just doing a very quick live. Just thought I'd show you guys out in the on the public page what a really big laminitic crest can look like. So take a look at this. So this mare, she came to me in 2013. That was when I first met her. And you can see now down here, this 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 laminitic crest is folding over here. And it's also folding over at the top. And she was, she had big fat pads, and she'd been basically left to graze in a field on her own, no hay, uh, abandoned really. And this was the result. Also, she was quite old when I met her in 2013, and I kept her with me until she died last year peacefully in a barn um, of natural causes. And she lived with me for 10, 11 years. And um, when she had this large inflamed laminitic crest that you can see here, it was, at the time it was the biggest I'd seen. I have since seen bigger and more folded on a donkey. But at the time, that was the biggest that I'd ever seen. And a little bit, a little bit later on in 2015, on a, a hay-only diet, this this is what she looked like. You can see that it's reducing. In fact, by the time another couple of years went by, that had reduced again even more. And this is because she was being fed grass. Well, not being fed at all, but she was out on grass. <laughs> she wasn't being fed any feeds because she'd been largely abandoned on her own as well. And because of that constant grazing, she'd also grazed down her incisors quite dramatically. At the time, again, that was the most dramatic um, dental change I'd seen on incisors. They weren't they weren't deformed or in a smile or in any way looking incorrect. They just had basically she would just worn those surfaces off on her incisors so that is what it looks like what you can do now the really interesting what you can do when you change the diet and the management management now the really interesting thing about this crest is or any crest is that the body hangs on to this adipose tissue it hangs on for dear life and as the animal starts to get a better a better body shape you still have a crest so you can see here her body score now is is, is perfect uh, you can't really tell because she's a bit muddy and she's got a winter coat on. But this crest is still hanging around a little bit. It's still there. It does. And we now know that these big fat pads uh, and these crests, they start to affect the endocrine system. So they can affect the uh, levels of insulin in the blood, they they do do this, and we know this in humans, and we also know 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 this in animals, but particularly in humans. So there you go. I thought I'd just show you that, and then let's just go back see if anybody is around. Okay, now just check this out. So this is a little pony that I went to see, and this was his bottom, and what a bottom he had. He had a very definite peachy bum. This was a fat pad. Uh, and you can see how it's very well defined right on the croup there, right above his tail. And you're not going to see many of these. You will see fat pads. This is another classic place for a fat pad. But for him, it had grown excessively into this shape. And again, just like the laminitic crest, this is his laminitic bottom because he had been given too much grass 
and it it was well set in. He was a he was a little bit overweight himself as well, a little pony, and for the whole time that I knew him, he still had access to grass. Uh, on and off. He had hay, but he also had access to grass. And this never really reduced. It stayed there because he, he was still getting those spikes and he was still getting over sugared by the grass. But I just thought I'd show you those two interesting examples. One of the laminitic crest. Here we go. Let's, let's see if we can put her above. There we go. So then I shall just zoom out and one of the laminatic bottom. So you may not come across those very often, but they're out there, and that's all to do with incorrect diet and management. So I just thought you'd like to see that. Let me just stop sharing. Okay, so for those of you who are in the Phoenix group, hi, Vivian. My girl has fat pads over her eyes. Yep, so they'll get swellings over the eyes. That's very, very common. And they also have fat pads. It's like Four different places you've got that are on the body. You've got them just above the shoulder. You've got them on the neck. You've got them just above the 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 towards the top of the flanks, and then you've got them down on the croup. And those are the classic places where you get fat pads and the puffiness above the eye. And you can get puffiness underneath the eye. You can get puffiness um, when you've got geldings. You get puffiness around the sheath. These are all symptoms. All symptoms that often get ignored because people get used to seeing them, but these are all symptoms of chronic inflammatory episodes going on throughout the entire body, all from gut disturbances of the microbiome. So it's a problem. Anyway, thought you'd like that. It's just a very, very quick one. And we will see you in about 10 minutes or so in the Phoenix group, Gary and I, answering any of your horse and hoof care questions let's go and have some fun and we also also always have a bit of a giggle don't we i'll see you there bye bye <laughs>